I want to just try to give you guys an idea. Every time he shoots and I do this, I always want to throw his body on the same side of his head. I never want his legs on one side of my body and his head on this, the other side. So what I'm doing is I'm stepping aside, I lock, get your best angles, Eric. And then what I want to do is I want to take him and throw his legs on the same side of his head. So I look back towards his head and now look where I'm throwing him. I don't throw him this way. I throw him over his head, okay? As I throw him over his head, notice how long or how much I expose my back to the mat. I expose his back to the mat, but I don't expose my back. I'm immediately getting up and then I'm sprawling, okay? And rotating on that arm, maybe I go into a crucifix, okay? Maybe I go into a crucifix. So it's important you guys don't pull the guy on top of you. And then last but you know, not least, it's important to also understand, you can do lifts. I mean, Dave's a little bit bigger than me, but you know, you guys get in here, you make a move and lock the crotch, you can lift the guy. And then throw the guy. And then once I'm here, I'm gonna sprawl and come behind, okay? So there's nothing wrong with lifting the guy up and then chucking him, tossing him. You don't wanna waste your energy, but if it leads to a good position, it's worth it. Um, also, some people say, I won't hold the leg if you lift. And so I'll show you this variation, very important. He goes for high crotch. I, I, I get over here and I lock, and I lift the guy and the guy that lets go. Then that's fine. I can throw my hooks in, and then I'm in position, ready to finish. So if lifting up the crotch makes him let go of your leg, that's fine. Go ahead, take his back. And if he hangs on, then whoop, I make that move, lift, and he hangs on. Get up, now take his back. 